I'm very happy to introduce my book, Capitalism Alone, or Capitalismo Contro Capitalismo, and it's an Italian translation. Uh, the book deals with uh, two types of capitalism. The one uh, which is prevalent in the West, which I call using terminology from John Rawls, liberal and meritocratic capitalism. And the second, which is essentially the capitalism of China, which I call using the terminology from Max Weber, polit political capitalism. Uh, the book deals essentially with the income distribution and general distribution in the two types of capitalism, creation of the upper class in both types and transmission of the advantages and preservation of such upper classes in the two. In the discussion on uh, liberal capitalism, I introduced six systemic features which lead towards higher inequality, including a new one which has not been identified before, which I call homoplutia, which is association of high capital and labor incomes in the hands of the same people. And in the case of political capitalism of China, I define several features that are, are present. The three key ones are that the uh, existence of an efficient bureaucracy whose objective is maximization of the growth rate. The, number two, the absence of the rule of law. And number three, autonomy of the state in the sense that the state is not being controlled by bourgeoisie or capitalists and has a very high degree of autonomy. In the last two chapters of the book, I discuss globalization and how it affects the, the factors of production globally, uh, how it affects labor, how it affects uh, movement of capital, how it affects the welfare state, and also how it is linked and correlated with increasing corruption. And in the final chapter, I deal with our ordinary life in globalized capitalism, which is the life of increasing commodification of most of our activities, including our leisure time. So I hope that you would find some parts of it or maybe all parts of the book interesting.